Yeah, I know. You're on the way. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hey, guys. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Oh my god, that is being a baby. You're so pure and so loved. Not knowing what's going on. Class. Oh, you don't need to walk it yourself. No, you can your hand and I'm with you. Yum, yum. Hopefully, this video will work and I can edit it on. The editor I have on my computer if not I have to re record from my phone. This is David James, Michael Dirkatch. David for my dad. James for Jim Morrison. <laughs> Michael for my uncle. And then my last name. And he just went for his first doctor's appointment. He's six pounds, thirteen ounces. He was five pounds, four ounces when he was born. He was a little bit smaller. But there's only, um, there's supposed to be two umbilical cord thingies to him, and I only had one, or he only had one. It's like a one in 500 thing. It's common, I guess. But he's gaining weight good, and he's eating good, and he's pooping good, and he's peeing good. And he's a pretty good baby. He gets a little gassy, and that's usually when he gets fussy, but other than that, like, he sleeps pretty good. He wakes up, like, every two to three hours to eat. Yeah, that's all. Me and Jesse kind of, he'll take a nap and then I'll be with the baby and then I'll take a nap and he'll be with the baby. I got four hours of sleep yesterday. The other day I got six hours. So like, I think that's pretty good. I do miss like eight to ten hours of sleep like I was used to, but hey, mom life, right? I never thought I'd be your mother. Well, just to my cats, but I didn't birth them. I adopted them. His eyes are still like the bluey gray color that white babies are born with apparently. Because they have less pigment. I looked that up. But they should change between like three and six months. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be brown. Because mine are hazel brown and Jesse's are brown. Hopefully he gets hazel brown. Yay, yeah, she'll be cute. You cutie, you can be on your face. Oh yeah. You going to say hi to YouTube? Say hi YouTube. Hey 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 hey. He can't talk yet, he's only three weeks old. Mm, you adorable, do you see the camera? Can you see yourself? Thank you. You're so cute. My baby. My mom and dad's first grandchild. They're not together, but it's still their first grandchild. So they're all pretty excited. You're going to spoil him. And then my, I only have one brother, so he's an uncle for the first time. Because he doesn't have no kids, so I'm not an auntie yet. But for people that have watched my channel and watched me go live, you've probably met my dad and my brother. 
probably not my mom. She doesn't like cameras or pictures, so she'll. I have to like secretly take pictures of her. I'll try to like record a little clip of her feeding David or something one day. See, his name is David James, so like people could call him David or James or DJ. I call him a bunch of different names. My little Jim Jim. Not as much, but that, I think that'd be a cute name. I call him David James. I call him my little DJ. Yeah, you're a big boy. Me? You could tell my birthday story. How you came out. You probably don't remember. Just three weeks ago. Yeah, that was fun times. Yeah, that was fun times. Uh, so on like February 6th, at like 11 p.m., I started getting like, I wouldn't even say cramps, just like, I thought it was gas. So I kept going to the bathroom, but nothing would come out. Um, and I was like 11, I was watching The Sopranos. And then by midnight, they're getting a little worse, but they're coming like every 10, 15 minutes. And I thought, well, if I take a hot bath, maybe they'll go away. So I took a bath and my boyfriend came in the bathroom and we were talking and our cat was there. They, they went away for a little bit and I'd lie down when they get come back. So then I got out of the tub and I'm like, oh, maybe I'm fine now. And I started to get a little worse. And then by 1, 1.30, I was like, oh, I'm just going to try to go to bed. I kind of knew I was going into labor, but I kind of didn't want to believe it. And I kind of thought even if I was going into labor, I'd have like hours and hours like most women do. Because I've seen like people go into labor for like 36 hours. But not me, apparently. So at 1.30, when I tried to go to bed, I went to lie down, and then the pain just got really, really bad. Like, I was like, ow. So then, one more? What do you want? So then I came out of the bedroom, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going, and I was spotting a little bit of blood, and I didn't spot the whole pregnancy at all. So I kind of knew. So he came out and I told Jesse, he was like, yeah, I think I'm going to labor. And he's like, why do you think that? Or I can't remember what he said to be fat. So then I told him, like, the pains and the blood. So he's like, okay, we better call your mom. So I called my mom. And she called me back and I told her what's going on. And she's like, okay, I'll start my van and I'll be right there. And she got here at, like, around 2-ish. And she had to stop to get gas. And that's when the pains were getting really bad. Like, I, whenever they came on, I couldn't walk or anything. I had to, like, just stand still and, like, breathe through them. And then um, she dropped us off at the hospital. And uh, we went in to triage. And they took my blood thing, blood pressure, <laughs> and weighed me. And then, like, I was having contractions then, so they had to, like, stop and wait for them to pass and then they finish what they're doing and then they took me to the little room where you're supposed to go while you're like waiting to dilate as much as you're supposed to dilate or whatever before you go into the labor room oh and this hospital is like brand new it's the women's hospital in winnipeg and they just like redid it so it's a nice hospital oh get your neck gonna give you a bath later so they I didn't take no pictures or anything of my birth. I just wanted to get it over with. I, my mom wasn't there, my dad was there, just me and Jesse. That's all I wanted. Yeah, I knew you. I knew you. You want to try to burp? Sometimes he burps good, sometimes he doesn't. You look so red on camera. Um, we went in that room and it took them like 30 minutes or something to come check how dilated I was. And they came in and they uh, checked and I was like, either eight and a half centimeters dilated or almost nine. Well, yeah, like basically nine centimeters. So like, oh shit, we gotta get you in the labor, into the labor room. So they moved me on the moving bed all the way to the labor room. And then we were in there and um, it was too late to get anything, like get an epidural or anything. And I did want to do it naturally, but once I was feeling those contractions, which is him like moving down your body. I thought it was just like your body like opening up so you can give birth. But no, it's like the baby coming down, which makes a lot of sense. Oh, there's a burp. Good job. Good job. So yeah, those are like really intense. No, you're going to put your hand in your way, silly boy. 
so then uh, threw down there and I had contractions and my water wouldn't break. And I didn't know you could like push and break your water, so I wasn't pushing, but it felt like I needed to push. So when I finally said something, they're like, well, yeah, next contraction, then just like push. You could try to break your water. So I pushed really hard the next contraction and like my water broke, but it didn't just break and like spill out. It like shot to the wall like a fire hydrant. It was like some movie type shit. It like whew, shot to the wall and they had like a bag under me, but it didn't go that way. It went straight into the wall. So I get to like mop up the floor and everything after. Then I broke my water and it was just the nurses because there's only one doctor on call and she was already giving birth to another baby in another room. So like the nurse was gonna uh, birth my baby because she's like I don't want you to sit here and like have to wait when you're in pain and stuff like we'll just do it and then the doctor came in so they got her all scrubbed up and ready and then she came and then she's like okay well next time you feel a contraction you could start pushing so when the next time I felt a contraction I pushed as hard as I could and probably screamed and um and then there was two more times that I pushed and he was out like I only pushed like three times and he was out I pushed hard until I couldn't breathe no more. Like, I wanted this little guy out. So, then he was out, and I was just, like, shaking and out of it and tired. It was about six hours from, like, 11 to... He was born at 5.16 a.m. And, uh, yeah, they put him on me, and I couldn't really move or touch him. I was shaking so much and tired. And they got him all cleaned up and took me to the bathroom and did all that. And then we got to go up to the room where I'd stay until the next day. With him, I got I got to leave on. It was Friday then. I got to leave on at Saturday on Saturday at like 2:45. I think I got to leave, so that was nice. I hated being in the hospital. I got like no sleep there because nurses always coming in, and then people would get the laundry were always coming in, and people bringing you food. Like every time I would doze off, I would just wake up. I think I got like an hour of sleep altogether being there from uh, Friday to Saturday. So it was really nice to come home and I missed my cats, I was worried about my cats because I never left them for so long and then I knew I was bringing a baby home and my cats were going to be like, ah, what is that? So, that's, that, that's my birthing story. And I'm kind of glad that like it went fast so it was a natural, like I didn't have no drugs in my system and he didn't get all drugged up. So yeah, that was good. Um, what else would I want to talk about? Um, you're meeting him. See, I want to add pictures and stuff, but I don't know if the video editor on here is going to allow me to. And if it does allow me to, I don't know if I'm going to figure out how to do it properly. I know how to do it on my phone now, but I'm not filming this on my phone right now. Yeah, and then he had his first doctor's appointment, and he's uh, three weeks old. He'll be a month uh, this coming Friday at 5.16 in the morning. Yeah, it'll be a month old already, my boy. I can't believe it. So yeah, he gained weight, like I said, so that we're all happy about that. And his next appointment's at a, at two months, so it's like a month and a week away. But um, well, not even a month and a week, well, pretty much. And I know that's when they're gonna start pushing vaccines on me and I'm totally anti-vax. So we'll have to talk to them about that, won't we? Yeah, you're done. There's not much left. Are you falling asleep already? I gotta change your diaper. Hey, you gotta change your diaper. No, little man. He's also uncircumcised because, like, I used to be for circumcision. Because, like, I seen most of the penises I seen were circumcised, <laughs> except for like two. But then I researched it when it became a truth or when I was like going anti-vax and then pro-life and I came across like um, that kind of research, also like breastfeeding, but I couldn't do that for some reason. And like, yeah, it's just brutal, man. Like, it's freaking brutal. So I didn't want to do that to my little boy. Yeah, I mean, he got a little, it's winter, so it's not like he was outside much. We had him covered and stuff, but even a little bit of fresh air, I think it knocked him out for today. Yeah, usually he's up after feeding for an hour or so at least. All wide-eyed and trying to look around because he's seeing better now. He loves my lights. Like, he oh, he's always staring at the ones back there, the ones there, or the ones I have in the bedroom. I bought some lights for his room. They just got to come in. And I bought him a tapestry that's like brightly colored for him to look at. Yeah. 
he's an Aquarius. He's my little Aquarius, and it's the age of Aquarius now, so that's kind of fitting. The cats don't really bother him, they'll like sniff him sometimes, that's about it. Yeah, I think they're waiting for him to be able to like pet them and give them attention and love. Yeah, I gotta teach him to love animals and be nice to them like I was. Hey, little David. Hey. Little DJ. Oh, my boy. He's a little person and he's real. It's still surreal to me, like, to be called a mom or, like, talk to other people about kids. It's just, I used to talk about my cats or my wife. <laughs> 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 Hey baby. He sleeps in a bassinet that we bought because I don't know, I don't wanna the crib's in the other room and the cats like to sleep in it, so I'm scared the cats will hurt him in the crib. And also I'm scared for him to be in his own bedroom with the door closed. So I'm like, oh what if he like I'm not gonna check on him, so I like him in the bassinet, like in our room. For now. I don't know. I guess new moms, first month time moms are always kind of annoying. Hey, little man. Hey, he's trying to get chubby cheeks. He's so cute. He's so cute. So, yeah, it's my birthing story. I was in denial that I was going into labor and I tried to hide it <laughs> until I couldn't hide it no more. And then it's like, okay, we better go. Yeah, because you wanted to come. To say hi, world. Hi. Yeah. Oh, there's a burp. Let me see if you got another one in you. You know, which was better after you burp. <laughs> it's so cute. But yeah, I'd like to. My birthday's on Monday, so I kind of like to get a bottle of wine and go live and stuff just for a little bit. It's not going to be like it used to be, but it's just a little like celebration. Yeah. Yee. Lucky I'm, I'm going to be 33. Lucky I like got all my shit out when I need to get it out, so now I can just focus on him and his life and making that good. Because he deserves it. Yeah. I'm going to teach you so much, you're going to be anti-vax and pro-life and you're going to say fuck the government. See you smile, he knows. Yeah, hey baby. Yeah, you're going to be my little genius. You're going to be my little genius. But this is David James. And I love him. <laughs> Obviously, I would hope I love him. And um, yeah, I didn't want you guys to meet him. I was gonna not like show my kid at all, but once he was born, I was like, because I hid my pregnancy too. I don't know if I mentioned that in this video, but I hid my pregnancy from Facebook and I only told close friends and family members, so they're the only people that knew I was pregnant. But whenever I made videos or took pictures for Instagram and Facebook and all that, like I made sure to angle it right so no one see my belly and all that kind of stuff. Videos I took with big, once I started showing, like, I made sure their angle was like boobed up. And I tried to make sure like no one would notice. But if you go back on my Instagram, you can kind of see there's little hints here and there that I didn't mean. I'm like, oh, are people are gonna notice. And now a couple of people are like, they went back in, they're like, hey, I can kind of tell you're pregnant here. So that's kind of funny, I think. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them in another video or yeah, just anything, because this video is already going to be almost 20 minutes, so go ahead and get it done, because it's going to take forever to upload. But I love you guys. Hey, hey, hey. And I'll see you soon.